daiquiris, daiquiris. Welcome to Drinks with Dee Dee. Make sure you click the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up, please. Also, follow us on social media on Instagram and Facebook at Dee Dee's Daiquiris. Tonight we have Mr. Tony Emerald. Tony, introduce yourself, tell the people about you and what you're famous for. All right, so uh, good evening everybody. My name is uh, Tony Emeralds. That's my, you know, my AKA. Uh, I've been doing music, I would say, I would say since the sixth grade. That's when I first started writing raps. And, but for the most part, you know, hip hop has been my life. I, you know, I, I still DJ, uh, MC, you know, songwrite. I have my own production studio here. Uh, I do my own graphics for the most part. And it's just, uh, like I said, I've been, uh, I purchased my first piece of equipment in 1994. And pretty much ever since then, it's just, it's just, you know, of course, you add on to the things that you have, you know, just to make your setup better, what have you. But uh, it's all about the music, and I love it. Awesome. So tell me something. Were you naturally inclined musically? Did it take a while? Did your parents kind of jump, make you start doing things musically in the church? Like, how did you get started? Well, my pops used to always play music on Saturday morning. And uh, I think everybody's experienced that when it's time to clean up, you know, the, some, some, whatever their favorite artist is or their genre that is playing in the house. Right. And uh, what I found out later on is that my pops was a wonderful, excellent, great trumpet player because he actually played for the band at Florida and M University. That's where he graduated from. And uh, so that kind of I guess you could say the light bulb, you know, years later clicked on for me where my musical inclination was from. Awesome. So my mom's thing was Anita Baker and Luther Vandross. That was our Saturday morning. Right. Music. My Saturday morning was like Barry White, The Whispers, the Manhattans, some Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> yeah. So as an adult, you hear those songs in your head when you start. Oh, yeah. Cooking. It's like every time you hear that music, it's something that you got to start cleaning up. You start wiping stuff. <laughs> right. It all comes about. So I was looking at your Instagram and I'll show you have a what's called Twitch. You don't have a Twitch, but it's a platform called Twitch. Tell me how those two things tie together. Well, at, at first, I mean, well, I'll, I'll tell you this. I've been, I had started uh, DJing on Facebook Live in 2015. You know, this is before they were starting to shut down, you know, DJs and, you know, they got into the whole music licensing thing. I was stationed in Korea at the time. And uh, right before I went to Korea, you know, I had purchased my own, you know, you know, turntables and I had the whole thing. So I was DJing in with just, you know, the phone recording from this, you know, with the speaker, you know, no, no intricate connections or anything like that. And, uh, you know, so fast forward, you know, 2019, 2020, uh, with the advent of like some of these websites, not letting DJs play their music or cut them off. I finally made the jump to Twitch, which what it does is. They do mute your videos if you're trying to go play it back. But what they don't do is cut you off mid-set. So anyone that's watching can enjoy, you know, 45 minutes to an hour of music. And, you know, on that particular platform, because they, a lot of, a lot of the uh, gamers, you know, stream their, you know, their, their gameplay on there. But, uh, you know, anyone that's want to enjoy their favorite genre of music, they're, DJs across the globe, they use their platform and you can go enjoy an hour or you know, hour or two of whatever you want to hear. Okay. What's your favorite genre of music? Well, you know, I have to say, I have to say rap, hip hop, whatever you call it. I call it hip hop because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I would, I'll, I'll say this. I would rather a young black man, young black female uh, be making music then be out in the street doing whatever, regardless right. of whether it's my cup of tea or not. If they're doing that, hopefully that's keeping them out of situations, you know. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a, I love East Coast. I, I, I came up in the, you know, the old school New York era, the Cool J, Rakim, LL Cool J. So that's 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 like my diehard. That's like the music that I love. But I listen to everything, country, alternative, and I attribute it to you know listening to music. Uh, my pops played, but then also me being and have, having been in the military, you come across so many different people, and it's just like I've just soaked it all in, and so it it actually helps me when I'm DJing because I can kind of do some different things musically. Did you DJ in the military like for parties? 
Yes, as a matter of fact, so my unit that I was in before I came to San Antonio, I actually, so every every year they do the, like the annual, it's called the St. Barbara's Day Ball. And, uh, you know, military ball. So we got on our, you know, our shiny suits with the ribbons and, you know, we come in with the fresh haircuts and everything. And uh, on my unit, because uh, I was stationed at, I was stationed in Oklahoma two different times. I was there for three years and I went to Korea, came back and I did three more years there. And then in, in each unit, I was the one DJing our annual balls. Okay. Our, our annual, uh, you know, our annual uh, military balls or whatever. So, so it's, it's, it's always fun. So coming up, which DJ did you admire the most? Which one was like your role model? Which, who was your favorite DJ? Uh, I would have to say it was Jazzy Jeff. Really? Jazzy Jeff. Probably I would say between Jazzy Jeff, actually, I'll take that back. Jam Master J and then Jazzy Jeff. And, you know, of course you had, you know, run, you know big Run DMC fan. You know, I got Sway the Adidas in the, in, the, in the closet right now, you know? <laughs> Wait. But, uh, of course, with you know the Fresh Prince and uh, Will, you know you know the Fresh Fresh Prince and all of those, with him and uh, Jazzy Jeff winning the first rap Grammy, you know these are the guys that you saw, you know. So fast forward, you got DJ Scratch, you got you got all of these different people that are just man, it's because the DJ culture is, ooh, it's like the parameters is just like crazy. But so, I would have to say Jam Message and Jazzy Jeff. Tony, what advice would you give younger children or, you know, just 17, 18 year olds who want to get into the music industry, but they just watch YouTube and don't really know how? Uh, I would say, so if they're honestly, the way it is now, if you're watching YouTube, there are excellent tutorials. I can't remember like any of the websites right off of my head, but if you were to go to pretty much type how to, you know, et cetera, et cetera, concerning whether it be mixing, producing, programming software, what have you. There are a lot of excellent tutorials on there. And it's actually, you know, coming from my era when you had to buy the drum machine, the keyboard, the recording software, the numbers go through the roof. Nowadays, you can pretty much, if you have a decent laptop, uh, most pieces of equipment that you buy come with the software in it. And you can get sounds pretty much from anywhere. Most of these uh, sounds, uh, I'm sorry, most of the equipment comes with the software. So if you're even remotely musically inclined and you got a decent ear, uh, it's very, very inexpensive to get into producing nowadays. So if you gave me just step one, what would that be, buying the software? The first thing you need to do is? I would say step one is to make sure that you have a, a good laptop with some decent, you know, you want decent size hard drive, decent, you know, a nice amount of RAM, just because when you're dealing with the music, it needs a lot of processing power. And then, you know, the next step would just be to, you know, of course, depending on your, your budget, uh, look at, you know, what type of, uh, like I say, like, for example, there's this uh, small keyboard, MIDI keyboard called uh, an Akai MPK. And I want to say it's like maybe around 150 bucks, something like that. But once you do that, the software comes with it. And then even on Akai's site, you can go in there and purchase sounds. And a lot of times, a lot of times in the music community, you got guys that'll just share sounds with you. Hey, here's this folder, computer folder, with drum sounds or melodies or whatever. It's 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 pretty much wide open. So, and then you know, like people, you know, and there's people like myself. Like if anybody were to reach out to me with any type of question, you know, I have everything on my laptop. I could just like shoot them the information, like no problem. Okay, we appreciate that. So we'll tell the kids where to find you. Go help find Uncle Tony and he can help you out. <laughs> oh yeah, no problem, no problem. Okay. okay, Tony, so you produced a lot of Dolby's for my husband's podcast and mm -hmm. what do you have going forward in the future with production? Uh, well, I hadn't put out on a release. Uh, I was trying to average about, you know, two or three releases a year, just instrumentals. More so just to kind of be able to say, you know, and you know, you look at, you know, this 2020, People go to their phones, they go to their iPads, they're on their laptops. You know, you can access Spotify, Tidal, uh, Pandora, and several other streaming sites. And it's just a situation where like, you know, if I run into an artist or if I'm, you know, on Instagram or if I'm sending, you know, putting out tweets or whatever, and, you know, if the question comes up about music, I can say, hey, you know, 
just search my name on any platform because it's Tony Emeralds across everything. Google, YouTube, I mean, you name it. There's no, it's not Tony Emeralds, you know, oh, 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 you know, zero one three or any of that. It's the same thing across, you know, uh, every platform. And then they can actually hear the production. And then if they're, of course, interested, then, you know, things can continue on from there. Okay, thank you. And you were one of, well, first of all, I want to thank you because you're one of our first customers for DD Zachers. We appreciate all it. All right. And knowing that you are a creator and, you know, uh, just one of those people with a creative mind, what were those, what was one of the first things you mixed with your DAC remix? What did you find that went well? Because, of course, your brain is not going to think like everybody else. <laughs> so what did you come up with with your mixes? So I have this drink that I made and is actually inspired by my wife. And it's called Tequila Sunburst. So I use your daiquiri mix, a little cranberry juice, and a little orange juice. And of course, some absolute citron and uh, a little bit of tequila. We might and need that net. So right. <laughs> hold, on, hold on to that, because I've never and heard that. And that is not frozen. That is with salt on the glass. Awesome. See, look, that's why yeah. I asked because I, I knew I knew it was gonna be something good. Right. <laughs> Thank you, wife. Right. Oh, we appreciate her. Yes. <laughs> okay. Tony, can you tell us yeah. a little bit about your next project, please? Okay, so the next project that I'm putting out is actually coming out this Saturday. It's called Grim Strumentals. And I named it that just, you know, because it's Halloween. And uh I just got I got inspired and found a window of opportunity, window of energy to uh you know, assemble a project. So it's going to be like a Halloween theme. I have like snippets of just a lot of our favorite, you know, Halloween movies, you know, Friday the 13th, uh, Halloween from Dust Till Dawn, just a lot of those different themed, you know, movies, vampires, you know, crazy killers, what have you. And uh, so those will be sprinkled in between some of the music. And it's more so like, kind of like a theme. Like, so if you listen to one of the songs, you can picture something getting ready to happen oh. and now like i said that'll be out uh on my band camp because i have a band camp site also that'll be out on my band camp site tony emeralds uh grim instrumentals on a uh, saturday my band camp site is www.bandcamp.com it sounds it's spelled just like it sounds and then uh you just put uh tony emeralds in the search engine thank you Thank you so much for sitting with us and tell the people where they can find you on social media. All right. So on social media, I mean, you pretty much name it. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Like I say, I have my site, bandcamp.com. Uh, I'm also on beatstars.com, which is a, you know, like a production site where you can lease, uh, lease and purchase exclusive instrumentals. Everything across social media is uh, Tony Emeralds. Just you can spell it right out. T-O-N-Y. And it's emeralds, if you think about the jewel, it's emeralds with the Z. Thank so it's on the Tony Emeralds across everything. And I'm like I say, I'm also on Spotify, Tidal, Pandora, Amazon.com. I mean, you name it. You put my search engine in Google and I will, you will see my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We thank you so much for sitting with us. It's been amazing. I do wish you the best. And I can't wait to hear these instrumentals on the next weekend. All right. Hey, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank y'all again. And you know, it's, I'm about to re-up too, so you know that that's coming. Because I'm almost, look, I, I ran through my regular daiquiri and I'm almost done with my strawberry, so it's it's about that time. Yeah, like I said, I need a picture of that. What is it, a tequila starburst? Tequila sunburst. And I, will, I need a picture will, of that. As a matter of fact, I do you one better. I'll shoot a little video of me. I'll edit it up and show you show you when I make it. See, you, that's why you're number one. You get an A. <laughs> five stars, five stars. <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning into another episode of Drinks with Didi. Make sure you follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Didi's Daiquiri. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up. Everybody said that. We got to find something different to say. <laughs>